G'day guys, welcome back to another video. So this one is gonna be a you know a little bit of an explore video, a trip video, and to be honest, it's gonna just be a little bit of a poke around the town of Narandra in the Riverina region, New South Wales. So we're gonna head out there, see exactly what Narandra has to offer. I've been looking at a couple of spots out there for about a year. So I've just finished packing up the ute, new swag in there, ready to go, and just have a look at Narandra, see exactly what the region has to offer, check out the town. So let's just get straight into it and see where our nose takes us. So first stop is Rocky Waterholes Bridge. Now, Rocky Waterholes Bridge is pretty cool. It's an Australian panel bridge. Now, the Australian panel bridge is a design that was popular during World War II, back in the 30s and 40s. Now, Australia actually designed this bridge to compete with the English Bailey Bridge. It wasn't actually more competition. It was actually more just because Australia couldn't really get their hands on any Bailey bridges. Now, what's interesting about the Australian panel bridge is that it was really easy to transport each panel could be transported by about six infantry it could hold up to 70 ton and it could also be constructed really really fast and this one in particular at rocky waterholes connects the north and south reserves of narandra and it also links up all of the bike and hike trails that narandra has a program for called the narandra hike and bike program the history of rocky waterholes bridge was that it was sold from the australian army to a bloke by the name of john mcmeekin in 1953. Now this had already been used by the Australian Army in the 30s and 40s, so it sold back in 1953 and then sat in a paddock until about 2012. Now after 2012, Narendra Shire Council decided they were going to build it and actually put it back into service. So Narendra Shire Council bought it and apart from a couple of rust preventative tips and measures and a couple of little minor detail repairs, it's actually still in its original condition from the 30s. And that's absolutely amazing. Now what's really cool about the Australian Panel Bridge and this one in particular is that construction only took about a week from start to finish and it was all carried out by volunteers. You can probably tell already just by looking at it but the bridge actually has a natural sag or a natural bend right in the middle of the bridge. Now this is due to the design of the bridge. There is a little bit more tolerance in the bolt and rivet holes meaning it has a little bit more leeway to be put together. This just allows it to be put together faster so that obviously infantry could cross big rivers or irrigation channels like you've got here. So if you do find yourself coming through Narandra and you find yourself down at Rocky Waterholes, I definitely suggest coming down, having a look at the Rocky Waterhole Bridge because it really does serve as a reminder as to how good things were built back in that day and age and in that era. This thing is just absolutely tough as nails and it is 100% stood the test of time. So yeah, that was Rocky Waterholes Bridge. That was that was cooler than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. Yeah, a lot of history in that bridge. And um, by the sounds of it, it was a massive sort of community effort from Narandra to actually get it built, um, which is awesome. Like it's a it's unreal to see you know communities coming together to do projects like that. Like it doesn't seem like much. It's a bridge, but it links the two reserve areas of Narandra together, so the north and south sides of Rocky Waterholes, um, of the, the Murrumbidgee Irrigation Channel. And that's what this is, like, we're not actually on the Murrumbidgee River, this is an irrigation channel that feeds off the Murrumbidgee, and then um, goes back down, and eventually it does link back up to the Murrumbidgee. So this is pretty cool, this is the entrance to the Koala and Lake Talbot track. Now, where we were before, I'll swing around so we can have a look. We're over here at Rocky Waterholes Bridge and we're now over here. Uh, it's actually kind of funny, 
We've been to this Lake Talbot water park a couple of times now. It's really, really awesome for kids. Now, this track along the top here looks like a walking track. So that's that one just goes through there. That's a massive walking track. And I think it's a big loop. You can go, you can walk it all the way to Rocky Waterholes or you can walk sort of around this way and then and back. But I don't know, I think we're just gonna go down this way, follow our nose and see which way, um, see where we pop out. Turn around and old mate here, he's given up on me. Have you mate? Hey. You given up on me? You done for the day, hey? <laughs> Poor old bugger, he's been he's been running around with me all day, fishing, bloody on the tracks, just trying to explore and find new places. He's been he's been unreal today. He's been he's been a good boy, haven't you? Hey, you've been a good boy. Yeah, he has. He'd be buggered. So I think it's getting on, ooh, up past five. So we should probably get out of here. I think we're gonna crash at just a little reserve just outside of Narendra. It's pretty much at the very start of the Koala and Talbot Park track. <clears throat> so I think we're gonna double back that way. Yeah, crash down there tonight. It's nice and sort of out of the way. Get some tea. Feed the dog and yeah, get up and do it all again tomorrow. So, keen as. Let's get back there. He's getting on the old thumper dog. I feel bad for him. He's getting a little bit, it's getting a little bit hard for him to jump in the back of the car. So, he's not in the canopy these days. Um, he hasn't been for a fair while, but this is where he is now. Aren't you, mate? Yeah? He travels in here with me. Kick back, get you some food. What do you reckon? Eat some food? Yeah, that's what I thought. Right, steak for me, can of dog food for him. <laughs> Let's go, big fella. This is us for the night, I think. It's not too bad. It's just this is just outside of Narendra. It's just a big reserve. I think it's sort of an old showground or something like that. Yeah, it's a really nice little spot. Every time we've come through here, we've seen just heaps of caravans and um, yeah, travellers and that pulling up for the night. Um, I think it's just, yeah, it's just, a, just a good little spot to pull up. It's across the road, actually, I'll show you this now, is the old Narendra Brewery. Uh, it was called Lincoln's Oak Bank Brewery. Just out here, in, just outside here in Narendra. But now it's been, uh, the whole bottom story, I think, has been refurbed and uh, people are living in it. So it's just someone's house now. But it would be awesome if you could actually go around and walk through it. That'd be pretty cool. But now it's just private property. But I'll, um, I'll just put that behind me. I reckon I'm going to be looking at that brewery for probably the next couple of hours. So, yeah. I reckon do a little bit of history and a little bit of research. Obviously I'm swagging it tonight, which is great, fine by me. It's been a while since I've been in the swag, so keen as to get back into it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I'll give you a quick look at this. Ah, oh, see, it's just going up again. This is getting really, really bloody annoying because it's not the inverter that's dropping out. Like I know I've got a King's inverter, it's 1500 watts and say what you will, but it's not the inverter that's dropping out, it's the battery. So I've got to turn the induction back on again, then ramp it all the way back down to 800 because for whatever reason, it's not strong enough to handle 800 watts coming out of the battery. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna to have to look at it and start asking our tech world a bit a couple of questions, but I love the idea of induction cooking. But when you're camping, I love the idea of it. I just don't see it being too practical at this stage. Like it's, in my experience, it's been a little bit of a hassle. That's the only thing that I don't really like about it at this stage. Because at the moment, like I mean, like I said, I like the idea of induction cooking, but right now it's really, really temperamental. It might be the gear that I've got. I don't know. It might be the iTech World battery. It might be the King's inverter. It might be that I've got a really crappy induction cooker. Like I've got an induction cooker from Kmart. It cost me about a hundred bucks. So, or well, fifty bucks it might have even been. So it might even be that. There you go. It's gone off again. But I don't know. Not not too happy with the the setup at the moment so at this stage I'll be going back to gas I think because yeah this is really getting annoying three times it's tripped out at 800 watts on a 1500 watt inverter powered by a battery that can pull 150 amps which roughly works out to be about 1750 watts so What a morning, eh? How good is it? Oi, settle down, big fella. Thumb was getting, thumb was getting worked up. So I don't generally eat breakfast of a morning. I usually wait till about 11, 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock before I actually eat anything in the day. I'll just start with the coffee and that's it. That's turned out to be a good thing today because I've 
gotten up this morning and realized that my battery is down to about 15 percent so i just moved it out here so we can get a little bit of sun on the panel while we um while me and the dog go for a bit of a walk don't step on your lead come on good boy that's him Of course. links up with the Narendra wetland which is just on the other side of the, the highway which is another sort of reserve I'm not sure if you can camp in the wetlands but I know you can definitely go use it as a day use area and there's a little sign right down the end of this track here so I'm just going to walk down and see what it says yep a spot on so this one is the wetlands track so you can see um so Narendra have actually done something pretty cool. They've made combined walking and cycling tracks. Um, we've got bike Narendra hike, so it's bike and hike. But anyway, we, we might do this wetlands track now that we've seen that. From what I've seen so far, there's actually markers along all these tracks. So you just follow it till you find a marker and then just follow it whichever way you're supposed to go. 